In this video, we're going to be looking at a program that you'll be using throughout the course. It's called Text Wrangler, and it's used to, uh, to develop your HTML and CSS code. And uh, this is a little bit different from what you might be used to in terms of uh, like a word processor like Microsoft Word. With Text Wrangler, it's known as a text editor, and it's uh, a simpler kind of a word processor, and it's used mainly by programmers, and we'll be using it to develop our web pages and cascading style sheets. Some of the differences between something like Microsoft Word and, and a program like Text Wrangler is that it, uh, it, it, it makes certain that you are not using smart quotes in, in uh, word processing and in graphic design. We want to make sure that we use curly quotes because that's the proper way to represent quoted material. But in the programming world, we use the straight quotes uh, using the, the inches characters. This is a little bit like what you would uh, get if you use just a standard old-fashioned typewriter. Now, with uh, a program like um, Text Wrangler, the, uh, the program supports things that you wouldn't normally use in, in word processing. For example, line numbering is, is very useful. You can turn on or turn off line numbering. And you can also upload and, and edit files that are actually not on your computer, they're on a remote server. So you don't actually have to grab a file from a server, copy it to your local uh, hard drive, work on it, and then copy it back. You can actually edit it on the server, and that will be very, uh, very handy a little bit later on in the course. Uh, Text Wrangler is a free program. It's, it's from uh, uh, the Bare Bones software company. And it's only available for the Macintosh, but you can find a Text Wrangler from the Bare Bones software website, and you can download it for your own Macintosh. If you have a Windows machine, you can use a, a, a program like Notepad++, or the one that I like to use is called Komodo Edit. And these are both free programs, and they both do similar things to Text Wrangler. Uh, things are sometimes in different places, but uh, in general, Text Wrangler or um, Notepad or Komodo Edit on, the, on Windows are r very, very similar. So let's uh, take a look at uh, one file. I'm going to open what I call the boilerplate file for HTML. And I'm going to right click on this and open it in Text Wrangler. And you can see here that I have my line numbers turned on. I have 11 lines in this very, very simple web page. And we can actually uh, open it in Google Chrome just by double clicking on it. And all it does is it says, Hello World. And uh, there's, there's Hello World there. Now, one of the things that is different about a text editor from Microsoft Word is that you have a thing called syntax coloring. And you can see that our commands, our standard commands are in blue. Our uh, kind of variables or uh, the information that we add to tags is in, in purple and brown. And our text, if it's, say, in body, the text that I want the user to see is in black. Um, the title is also uh, put into black because that's what the user sees in their, the header of their uh, browser window. Some of the other things that you can 
um, make use of in Text Wrangler. It has a very sophisticated find and replace. Uh, you can, if you if you know how to do it, you can uh, search for very very particular kinds of strings in a large text document. Now these documents can be extremely large, though when we're doing the the work in this course will, generally speaking, not exceed more than 200 lines, but you can have uh, thousands and thousands of lines in a text file, and you can use the search to very, very quickly find what you're looking for. Another thing that you can use in a, a text editor is to be able to compare two files that you think might be the same. You want to find the differences. So these are all things that you can make use of. Text Wrangler Help is quite good. It's got a user manual. And uh, if you're online, you can use the tutorial. So that's it for video number one, Text Wrangler.